I ask my love to take a walk, just a walk, a little walk, down beside where the waters flow, down by the banks of the Ohio, and darling say that you'll be mine. Welcome to Ludlow, Kentucky. It's a small, quiet town on the banks of the Ohio River, and it's just a short drive from downtown Cincinnati. My name's Maria Corelli, and I've found something very special in this town. Hand me down, hand me down, a walking cane, a walking cane, hand me down. There was a time when every small town had a cool place to hang out. It might be a general store or barber shop, but what was important is that there was a place where folks in the community came together. The coffee was always hot and everything was homemade, including the music. Fiddles, banjos, guitars, washboards, spoons, people came together with whatever they had. Some played and sang and others would dance, all just for the fun of making music together. And that spirit is alive today here at the Folk School Coffee Parlor. Now, I know what you all might be thinking is that it looks just like another one of those coffee shops that have been popping up. Yet, just as the name Folk School Coffee Parlor implies, it has another mission just as important as serving a great cup of coffee. On the local level, it is about contributing to the revitalization of the city of Ludlow by providing the foundation for a young creative community. But on the larger scale, it is about supporting the region's robust folk music scene and being a hub for individuals and organizations that are sharing fresh ideas about sustainability and alternative living. So you all might be asking yourselves, how did this whole place get started? And I want to introduce you to entrepreneurs and visionaries, Matt and Mary Williams. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my guitar and jam in the back. Many years ago, we had an uh, idea in our heads Several ideas, really, um, but as the founding father of the Whispering Beard Folk Festival, we were lucky enough to be inspired and motivated by all these amazing folk artists and folk musicians and other entrepreneurs to take the path less traveled, so to speak. Yeah, Matt and I have always worked for local small businesses and we try to support small businesses whenever we can. So it was only natural that we started our own small business. It would be very easy for us to carry a number of products, but we've kind of stuck to our guns as far as them needing to be local and fresh. When we first moved to Ludlow, there wasn't a whole lot of business on the main strip and when we opened up we knew that we were facing a lot of obstacles with you know how are we going to be able to sustain this business but the community support has been amazing we've gotten to be friends with so many of our neighbors and it's such a great community down here it's surreal mm -hmm. it's very surreal Folk School Coffee Parlor sources its beans from Deeper Roots, a local roaster that, in their own words, strives for excellence in ethical sourcing and crafting of specialty coffees. And judging from what the customers say, they know what they're doing. But it's not just the coffee. Folk School is also committed to serving small batch food prepared locally. As you know, with the Folk School, Oh, and let's not forget the Whispering Beard Folk Festival in Friendship, Indiana. Matt and Mary are tied to the rich cultural and musical heritage of folk music, especially here in the greater Cincinnati area. So keep an eye on the schedule for concerts, performances, workshops, and jams. And the monthly square dance. Everyone is welcome, no experience required. Folk School helps support local musicians by providing a convenient venue for music lessons and workshops and they hire working musicians like myself to make some extra money in between tours. 
And on occasion, we hold some very special concerts right here. These are limited to a 40-person audience and feature some of the best local and touring musicians around. It's a really rare opportunity to see these folks in a listening room environment without all the hubbub and noise of a bar or a music festival. But the Folk School Coffee Parlor isn't just about coffee and good music. Um, it's good to dry and use cornmeal and flowers. Interested in starting a beehive? Looking to forage for local edibles? Want some guidance on cultivating mushrooms? These are all kinds of interesting workshops throughout the year. Or how about a guided nature tour of beautiful Davu Park just up the hill? Surprised? Didn't think all of this was going on in Ludlow, Kentucky? Think again. In fact, think Jerry Springer. And I'm thinking to myself, well, this is nice, but you're leader of the free world. My show's on at 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Get to work, George. Yeah. Get to what, work. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> They're Russian missiles. <laughs> it's time to clock in, buddy. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Turn off the show. <laughs> Trust us. Long story. And then we started to talk about the election. That's right. Local legend and national TV show host Jerry Springer shows up on a regular basis, sets up shop, and produces the Jerry Springer podcast, Tales, Tunes, and Tom Fool. Enough to say that it's recorded in front of a live audience here at the Folk School Coffee Parlor, and that it results in great entertainment with some pretty lively discussions on a wide range of topics. In the end, however, it's the music that sets this place apart. With all the workshops, jams, and special performances, the Folk School Coffee Parlor really lives up to its name. So come on down, relax, enjoy some coffee, music, down at the Folk School, where you're always amongst friends. Hey, the kids have gone to sleep and it's time to go home. We beg the band for just one more song. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. And that was the end of our big hoedown. Get down the fiddle and the old banjo. Gonna have a good time down in Union Grove. Come on, everybody, I'll meet you down there tonight. Hey, get down the fiddle and the old banjo. Gonna have a good time down in Union Grove. Come on, everybody, I'll meet you down there tonight. Hey, come on, everybody, I'll meet you down there tonight. Y'all come back now, you hear?